Hey Cathedral, it's me, Mark Brown with QSP one more time. Hey, last time we got together, we talked about being our very best. And you know, we always try to be our best, hopefully in school, at work, and in every area of our lives. Today, I want to focus on being a part of a team. Now, no doubt many of you are involved in sports. Maybe you play football, baseball, basketball, softball, hockey, golf. Maybe you're part of an academic team, or a drama team, or a choral team. Teamwork is, was important for every area of our lives. And when I was in high school a gazillion years ago, that's right, back in the 1970s in Kingston, Jamaica, one of my greatest goals was to be a part of a very special team, our high school soccer team. We called it football back then because, hey, to get foot kick a ball is called football. The point is this, back in 1976, I was 15 years old, and I wanted to be part of our high school soccer team because high school soccer in Jamaica back then was a big deal. I have no clue how many fans come to your games, but in our games, we had 10, 15, 20,000 people coming to watch high school soccer. It was a big deal. And our team was 18 guys, 18 guys who tried their best to represent a school of over 2,000 boys. Now the thing is this, to be part of the team meant some really hard work. It meant struggle, going through injuries and overcoming some obstacles. But in 76, I was 15 and I made the team and I was so proud. I've got to be honest though, I didn't get much playing time. I was a young kid. There were other guys who were older, more experienced, who got much more playing time than I did. But there were lessons for me to learn by being on that team back in 1976. One very important lesson was this. Even though I wasn't a star, I had a role to play. To me, at the time, it seemed really minor. I'm right on the bench. I'm going to practice games and scrimmages. I'm not getting game time in the big games. But the lesson I learned was this. Even though my role may have seemed insignificant, it was important. See, I was helping the senior players, the more experienced players, become even better by playing the part I played on the team. And there was a very significant side benefit as well. See, as they got better, I got better. How do I know that? Because one year later, in 77, I tried out again for the team and I made the team a second time. This time, my role was different. This time, I was the starting right fullback on the team. Again, playing in front of 10, 15, 20,000 people. And in 1977, our team did pretty well that year. We won our regional championship. Think of it like baseball, National League and American League. A team wins a pennant in the National League and American League and they play for the World Series. We, my team, won our league pennant and we got to play in the national championship in front of 22,000 people on December 2nd, 1977. I wish I could tell you my team won the championship that year. We did not win the championship, but I tell you, I was really proud to be part of a team that finished number two in the nation. That's no small feat when you're 16 years old. And you know what? Every year, at the end of all these great competitions, we had an all-star game where the best players from all the teams were put on one team, as in National League All-Stars versus American League All-Stars. Same concept. And every year, the top four teams normally got four or five players from their team on the All-Star team. Well, in 1977, my team, Calabar High School, Kingston, Jamaica, we didn't have seven players on the All-Star team, or six or five. You want to guess? No, not 10. No, not four. Actually, my high school team, number two in the nation, had only two players in the All-Star team. That's right. And on, during the All-Star game, one of those players got some playing time, and the other sat the bench. Now, wait a second. We were the number two team in the nation, and only two of our 18 guys were All-Stars? Yes, and I'll tell you why. Our coach, Alti McCoy, now living in Florida, Miramar, Florida, said this to the local press that day, some 32 years ago. Calabar High School's win was all teamwork. That's right. We were devoid of superstars individually, but as a team, oh, as a team, we were hot. We won our first two games, total one goal against, 12 goals for. The local reporter for the national newspaper, Daily Gleaner, he always wrote hard reports about football teams, but our football team, our first game, he wrote these words. He said, every move by the fit, fast-moving Calabar squad was designed to set up a teammate for the earliest possible shot 
at goal. I'll say it again. Every move by the fit, fast-moving Calabar squad was designed to set up a teammate for the earliest possible shot at goal. Hmm, goals. I hope you have some goals, and I hope you're a team today, Cathedral. You are starting a very important project, very early in the academic year, and what you do with this project can make a big difference in your life and the lives of your classmates. So think about this. I learned that even though I may not have a best role to play, I may not be the quarterback or the star of the team, my role is important. I may overcome injuries, difficulties, being on the bench for a while, but if it helps the team, I'll give my best. And you know what? When you're part of a team, a good team, you build relationships, you improve your own skill set, you learn more, you grow more, and you help others to grow and improve as well. So you know what? In a few minutes, you're going to break up and go to your characters groups, and I want to leave with you four important questions for you to discuss and answer honestly as you get together. Number one, ask yourselves, what can we do together in my second period class, my team, to achieve our school goals, our class goals, and our classroom goal? Number two, what ideas, plans, what strategies can you provide to each other as to how to achieve that goal? And number three, talk about the benefits from this particular magazine sale. Could it be my best friend or my teammate who will benefit? Is it really important? And if so, why is it important? And number four is really tough. How will this sale benefit me? If I receive financial aid, does all the money go to help us? But what if I don't? Do I see the value in helping other people? Perhaps somebody in the classroom or at the desk right next to me. Discuss together how that might actually help you. So, there you have it. Last time we talked about being your best. This time, it's about being a team and reaching your goals. I wish you massive success, not only with this sale, but in every area of your academic life, your home life, your full life. I'm Mark Brown with QSB. Make this an outstanding day.